This video is using Tone Tip. Get free content wherever you get your apps. It is my pleasure to introduce Shannon Nell. Shannon has been with us since day one. I sent him a simple little email right after getting our nonprofit going. He responded like early the next morning, which was extremely exciting. We met a couple of times and he has sponsored all of our conference and we just did number four. So very excited about that. And it's always been exciting to have Shannon around and his energy and his input. And he is now also very, very excited to announce he's on the board of directors. Yay. So again, yes, yes, we're we're all we're all all involved in this extremely fun adventure. So with that being said, we just did our fourth conference after two years of hiatus, you might say. And uh, we had a safe and wonderful event. So Shannon, is there anything you'd like to add with for that? Well, yeah, first of all, Paula, congratulations on starting a great organization that filled in between when the doctors are done doing an amputation and they basically kick you out. They may recommend a, a physical therapist, but no one to handle the myriad of, I, of matters that come up as a new amputee. And even though I've been at this since 1974, when I lost use of my arm, when I learned the hard way not to ride it back a pickup truck, um, every one of us, including you, Paul, have been a resource for others without a planned method either. Just the doctors mention there's a new person with an amputation. Gosh, could you, Paula or, or Shannon, give this person some advice? But beyond that, I went to the conference and a bunch of people that came this year were so glad they showed up, including this cute little girl about nine years old that got to shoot my bow and arrow and had fun. I told her and her family they could borrow that bow anytime they wanted. And she was kind of charged up and energized on this. And so thank you for creating something that was needed. If had you not done this, we'd all be dealing with uh, surgeons to give advice on what to do after they're not the ones equipped to handle advice of that nature. So yeah, capital job on attracting a really good group and a great number of vendors like Marty and all the others that were there, even if they don't deal necessarily with amputees, we buy everything also and uh, need all categories covered. So Paula, hats off to you for a great trend. Proud to be a speaker at these events. And my topic, of course, is uh, there's life after injury, which is so true, but we don't know that at first. We're a little freaked out. And giving younger people advice early on is the best medicine, not only for the individual, but for ourselves too, where we are reinforced in a way when we share good news about your opportunity. So that's all part of it. Thank you, Shannon. So one of the reasons I started the nonprofit, exactly what Shannon just said, but you know, I didn't want to go out and play by myself. I wanted other amputees to go do runs with me or challenge themselves with rock wall climbing or, or archery. We've had several mm -hmm. archery events with the exception of the conference and bike days. Um, and, and that's, you know, it's fun for everybody. And it's extremely fun for me because I kind of feel like I, I started the nonprofit. It, I had an accident and by accident started the nonprofit, but developed so many friendships and it's Mm -hmm. And uh, they might have thought, eh, I don't know. And then when they got done, everybody was glad they were there. And our speaker, what a fantastic guy uh, who came in. Yeah, yeah he gave a, he had a most amazing recovery story of all. But everyone has a story and it's important, but we also don't, you know, we, we want to be normal and focus and, and uh, the, the best compliment of a, uh, from others to amputees is they didn't notice we were missing a limb. Um, stuff like that, that, that we're just treated like a normal person. And uh, my arm was in a sling for 35 years and people would stare at the damn arm and tell me that they broke their face and they hurt them, their knee or whatever they did. Now they look me in the eyes instead want to talk to me about what I'm doing and thinking instead of staring at a wounded uh, limb. So for me, it was a blessing to get the arm out of my face. I that stubborn about having it amputated because uh, I didn't have to, but the doctor said I should eventually, and I did. 
and I'm so glad I did. I kind of feel like I'm skinny dipping every day a little bit without the <laughs> extra stuff on my neck, weighing down my neck. So yeah, a lot of good has come out of this conference and so glad to be in person this year. What a boon and a blessing where we can see and, and gauge the emotions of people and give them some sincere help, which is hard to do over uh, other methods. But uh, Zoom certainly filled a void though, just like today. It's a good thing, but it's enhanced when you can be in person as well. Stuff. <laughs> so yeah, a lot of good has come out of this conference and so glad to be yeah, Absolutely. Well, I, I definitely want to say thanks for letting me be involved as well, because realistically, you know, I tell people from a standpoint of, you know, I look at myself as, you know, I'm, you know, I'm a minority. People look at me as being different. I never yeah. really thought when I got there how my perspective would change working with people with, with disabilities. I never thought about how amputees would be looked at. Just that whole environment. Just, I didn't know what to expect till I got there. And, and it was just wonderful all the way around. Like, people are people all the way around. So I think you as being just such a stalwart and such a, just a major anchor in the Lane County and uh, proper community business this human person just being a great part of this and I'm uh, just a great supporter of the, of the event itself. So Marty, great thanks question. a lot. You know, another you. Uh, note is that this, uh, this group, like many others, uh, was formed out of Springfield greeters who saw a need and banded together. And, and this conference had mostly folks from our greeters group, uh, aside from the public and uh, other uh, areas uh, like Alex uh, with the Reverend's Karate, uh, his uh, membership is made up of Springfield Greeters. So, so many good things have come out of Springfield Greeters that got to count our blessings for that alone. And uh, you do, uh, so we, uh, three of us all met. So great stuff. Keep up the good work with this conference. And for uh, those of you out in uh, Cyberland, we're here to support you too. So you need any help, get a hold of Paul or myself or any one of the board members. Uh, Marty is, is a great resource himself, but uh, so yeah, it's uh, mostly up here. It's life after injury and being chipper and knowing there's someone worse off than, than you not far away uh, that you might inspire to uh, pull up their own bootstraps too. So capital job, Paula. And thank you, Marty, for making this venue available. Thank I have you. two real quick things to add. A young man there from Puerto Rico. Yeah. So that was exciting. Talk about Lane County. No, yeah. this guy was not even in the country. And he came <laughs> and he experienced that. And, you know, places like Puerto Rico don't really have the options like we have here to be able to provide this event. So that was exciting. And I met a young lady that came up from Coos Bay, which is what, an hour and a half away. She'd been an amputee for several years, but never had been around other amputees. So she came up to me for a, just a couple of seconds towards the end of the day, and she was in awe of being around other amputees. The conference had to offer and that was one of the most exciting things for me to hear so woohoo yeah way to go that's awesome yeah. she'll go back home and uh, probably you know spread the word that, that there is life after injury and and it doesn't have to be amputation it can be uh, any setback can give you reason to kind of look inward and find ways to uh, move ahead but you've done a good job on this uh, paula thanks a lot i'm proud to be on the board and marty thank you again for all you do to help others and, and get the word out on various causes that do need to be promoted. Without that, we would be in our own uh, homes and we wouldn't get out. So yeah, great stuff, you two. Thanks Good. a lot. Okay. Thank you.